Welding and Lego is usually not a great combination, but I'm building a very special kind of Lego model. I finally finished the digital design for the giant Lego Artemis rover that I'm building. Before I start building it out of actual Lego bricks, I need to make a steel frame to go inside of it. I first built a frame out of Lego bricks, and then I transferred the dimensions from Lego bricks to millimeters, and then rebuilt that frame in Tinkercad. And then because I'm using one and a half inch by half inch steel tubing, I then had to transfer those dimensions to Imperial. Final result of all that is I had a very accurate model of what I needed to build that would nest perfectly inside of my finished Lego model, and you won't even be able to see it. I had to be very careful with my cuts and measurements, so I measured and measured and measured. I even used Lego bricks to just make sure those measurements were spot on with the studs. Taking time to slow down and plan these things out now really means there'll be fewer problems in the future. The reason that this model needs a steel frame, again, has to do with planning out for what's going to happen later. This Lego model could hold itself up just with the strength of the Lego bricks, but because it's going to be transferred from museum to museum, there's going to be a lot of installation and handling. And just to reduce the possibility of breakage, that's what this steel frame is for. I then cleaned up my welds with a grinder, and I probably spent longer cleaning up my welds than I did actually welding. But the final result, after a quick coat of paint, a steel frame! That kind of looks like a giant robot ant. And now, I can actually build my Artemis rover out of actual Lego bricks.